Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name is Dave, this is my son Bailey, and today we've got a little redneck science project going on. We're going to do a penetration test. Uh, we have a tractor engine block down here, a gas engine block out of the 414 International Tractor. Um, it'll be a little thicker engine block than a car would normally be because the engine block in this tractor is part of the frame. So we've got a few different rifles here. Uh, we'll get the shot set up and uh, give a rundown on what we're shooting as we're doing the shooting. Bailey has a Savage Axis in 223 Remington and we have a 55 grain soft point uh, cellier and below. So we'll get that uh, fired down range and see if we can make something interesting happen. Here, please. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we are. So yeah, just just a little bit above the bottom of the water jacket. Got a good solid hit. It cratered pretty hard. No penetration. It uh, yeah, it cratered a good solid quarter of an inch in there. Next we have uh, SKS, and I have. Uh, I believe it's 123 grain soft point uh, barn off round. Uh, we'll give that a shot and see what happens with that. Okay, there we can see the uh, where the barn all soft point round hit. Uh, it actually didn't penetrate quite as deep as the 223. Uh, bigger hole, of course, but less penetration. That's interesting. Okay, for this shot, we've got the good old Mosin Nagant 9130, and we have a 203 grain uh, MFS soft point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see some smoke rising from like center or the back side of the block, so I would say we definitely got a hit. Alright. And there we can see a nice clean hole right through this side of the block. And I see it went into the cylinder. But not through. You can see it uh, it went right in through into the cylinder. We're a little bit off center with it, but it did go through into the center into the cylinder. Did not go through the on through the other side. So I would have to say it must have fragmented inside the cylinder there. But that would definitely stop an engine with one shot. You get it going through a cylinder like that. And that made a pretty impressive hole on the outside here. It's you know well, nearly half an inch. Okay, we've got our Savage Axis again, and this time we have 55 grain FMJ American Eagle. Yeah, nice, nice hit. Okay, you can see where our uh, FMJ round hit. It did not penetrate. Hardly as far as the soft point, actually, but I think that's because the jack of the soft point went in, curled around and came back out, and uh, brought a lot of the loose cast with it. This one here, there's some pieces of cast in the bottom of the hole here. And, yeah, I just... There's probably some pieces of jackets and stuff in the snow here around the bottom of the block, but like I said, with snow on, you're really not able to see them. That's kind of interesting. I thought the uh, FMJ would do a little more than that. All right. Well, we'll try try something else. Got our SKS again, 7.62 by 39, and this time we have some steel jacketed FMJ Chinese surplus. These are, I believe, a lead core, not a steel core. So we'll see uh, what kind of penetration we get with this.
the penetration with that shot right here <clears throat> it made a nice clean hole much like the uh, the uh, most in the gaunt on the on the right uh, only thing is kind of looks like it went clean pretty much between two cylinders so I think I'll try that shot again see if I can't get it just a little bit to the left and uh, see if I can hit that uh, second cylinder there um, it there was no penetration on the other side of the block so we'll, we'll try that once again all right we're gonna try that shot again another shot with the Chinese uh, 762 by 39 surplus Didn't get quite as far left as I wanted, but I did get a new spot. You can see it right there. No penetration. So that's a uh, little less uh, power to it than I expected. All right, I guess we'll move on and uh, try our next shot. Okay, got another shot with the most in the gut, the 9130, and this time we have some FMJ uh, surplus ammunition. Uh, not really sure, I think it's Russian, but I'm not, not certain. Anyway, we'll give a shot with this. I think we should have uh, a little better results with this. Smoke rising again. Okay, we got a nice hit with that uh, round from the uh, uh, most in the gaunt. Uh, pretty near center on of the cylinder. Went through one side of the block, went through both sides of the cylinder, went no further. Um, yeah, I would say kind of shattered, kind of shattered and broke up as it went through. We'll just have a look down the cylinder so you can see. I don't know, it's kind of dark. There we are. You can see it broke up on the back side of the cylinder, but kind of more from pieces hitting it, I would say, than an actual projectile left. Uh, so it went no further. So, uh, anyway, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I've got eight rounds of that Chinese surplus left. So uh, we can't leave any rounds unfired. I mean, that's just wrong. So I'll take four and let Bailey take four, and then we'll take a look at the block again and see what the aftermath of that is. Okay, we got some more holes through here. One, two, three, four, five. And another one up here. That one there and those two here are from earlier. These five here are all uh, low. They're below the water jacket. They just went through the block itself. They'd be uh, in the crankcase area. Guess it didn't look. Yeah, nothing came through the other side. No penetration on through. Now, uh, yeah, it's this one here. That one went through and hit the cylinder. And I don't know if you can tell or not, it's pretty dark down in there. But right down there, there's kind of a lighter patch there. It, it cracked the cylinder broke the finish on the inside but it didn't actually penetrate the cylinder wall but it did crack it up uh, if that was a running engine and it did that to a cylinder I'm pretty sure that would fetch it up <clears throat> so 
So, it's kind of interesting. We've got some more holes. Well, that was our redneck science experiment of the day. Uh, kind of found it interesting. Uh, that is a heavier than, than usual engine block, though. Like I said, that one there is a easy 3-8 thick uh, cast iron block. Most cars are going to be a lot thinner uh, cast than that, and a lot of them are even aluminum. So, I mean, even the 223 should go through the aluminum ones, no trouble at all. Um, but I guess the moral of the story is, if you want to stop a tractor, you better bring a most in the gun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and have a great day.